focusing on getting out the book logistics and so on. It was a very, very good thing to do. Because, Are you talking you about know, maybe a week at a time or a couple of weeks at a time where you just log out and don't check? Well, actually, I took months off, right? I took, I took like almost four months off just to get all the final details on the book nailed down and get that shipped. And, you know, the thing about that is, uh, in a sense, you know, win off Twitter to win on Twitter. You know, so that is to say, pretty much anything that you want to do, you cannot actually win on Twitter itself. You have to win off Twitter and announce on Twitter. You know, now Twitter itself is underappreciated by people because it is the public war zone, right? It is where the intelligentsia slugs it out. It is the consensus mechanism of the English speaking Internet. Okay. And it's like where... Society now, it is like the true government. I don't think people realize that yet, right? It's a parliament because it's upstream of governments. It's very hard for a government to go against Twitter, um, where Twitter's public opinion is, right? And it's a parliament where there's people from the English-speaking internet across the entire world um, who are elected by their constituents, right, who follow them. And, uh, and so, and of course, they can get unfollowed and blocked or whatever, right? And uh, and there's no borders in terms of I mean, yes, there's national borders and stuff like that. But I mean, you're in the UK. I'm in, you know, like Asia or what have you. But we're still kind of in at least adjacent. So called if you're the term noosphere. No, noosphere. It's like a cognitive sphere. It's like it's like like our mental social networks are not so far apart. Right. Uh, whereas, let's say the Chinese social network is its own thing, its own Galapagos Islands, but not a small thing. It's like a billion person Chinese internet that is just air gap from the English internet, which is the biggest thing, right? And one tweet I actually just, you know, digress on this topic for a second that I was just talking about recently, the English speaking internet and the Chinese speaking internet are actually like the two most monitored and surveilled internets in a sense, right? The English internet is also like the public war zone of the world. It's, it's got a few different aspects. When you go outside English and Chinese to even Spanish, which is actually a pretty large community, it's much less monitored. People can speak much more freely because the platform operators mostly speak English or Chinese. And so therefore, they're not going to basically like surveil. They don't care as much about thought crime in other languages. Isn't that interesting? That's right? fascinating. Yeah. And so and, and it's funny, I tweeted about this and a bunch of people were agreeing with me on that. And they just hadn't put two and two together on that observation. They're like, oh, wow, you're right. If I say the same thing in Hindi. Nobody cares. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I can tweet this this raging tweet that I, I want to get out there. This but banger I... you can put out in Hindi. Exactly. Nobody <laughs> cares. Nobody will care. Nobody even thinks of it as like offensive, really. That's right? that bilingual privilege that everyone's got. Something. Well, so it's interesting because obviously most of the world is neither English nor Chinese speaking. So now... Machine translation and other things complicate this in hard to game out ways. The most obvious implication, or perhaps the one that will happen, is that it makes all of those other internets legible to the English and Chinese uh, social network platform operators, and then the surveillance and the you know thought police can move in there. On the other hand, it may also mean the rebabelization of the world. Just like the Israelis revived Hebrew, which is a dead language, Machine translation may make it easier for communities to basically build their own secret languages or forked off languages, which are at variance with the, you know, the main society. OK, and um, especially if you take the machine translation models and you add some new language on them that the main society doesn't have. Right. So you're, you, there's different ways of doing this. OK, but point being that um, I, I think this concept is uh is a is a useful one where you realize the importance of twitter you realize it's it's both it's both more important than people who say it's unimportant say and yet you can't win on twitter itself mm. you just can't right yeah. you have to do things off twitter to win on twitter now why is it important to win on twitter as i said it's basically like the government of governments uh, sort of like bitcoin is also a government of governments right twitter is the government of governments socially bitcoin is government of governments financially Right. So like Jack Dorsey is actually in some ways like the ender of this world and the and the beginner of the next. Right. Twitter and Bitcoin are the end of like basically all post-war institutions. And the beginning of what comes next. 